There's a brand new behemoth gaming monitor and we got to check it out and it's awesome. So you guys know Samsung has been pushing 49 inch gaming monitors and this is the fourth generation of the Samsung Odyssey line. We got to check out the brand new Samsung Odyssey Neo G9. Now this is a 49 inch gaming monitor. The resolution is uh, 5120 by uh, 1440. It's kind of weird, but it's basically two 1440 monitors stacked together, ultra wide, really crazy. Now this thing packs in a lot of great specs. So you've got a thousand hour curve radius. You've also got 240 Hertz, one millisecond response time, also supports Nvidia G-Sync and AMD uh, FreeSync Pro Plus or Premium, if you will. And this thing also has mini LED packed into it. Yes, it's a mini LED display, which means you've got, of course, more demon zones, up to 2000 demon zone, an HDR 2000 rated, which means it is one of the brightest gaming monitors you will ever see. Now, what does that mean in general? It means that, look, when you're gaming, it is going to look sharp, bright, effective, and I got to spend some time with it. So, played some Doom Eternal, showcased some of my Doom Eternal skills. I haven't played the game in a while, but it, it just felt fantastic. And again, using a monitor like this though, some of you might think, well, can you see the edges well? That thousand hour curve radius basically is what your eye usually sees, so you can see everything from end to end, which was great. Same thing playing, of course, uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Whoever's playing that, uh, you absolutely will love it on this monitor. Now, the monitor is versa mount, uh, it does have versa mount support, also can tilt up or down, as well as, of, uh, as well as you can raise it up or down whichever way you want it. So it's got that versatility built into it. Now, the other thing is that this monitor supports HDMI 2.1, yes. So you can definitely connect this to your PlayStation 5, or your Xbox Series X or Xbox Series S to get the full amount of gameplay. Now, I didn't get to do that, but once I get it in, I will definitely be testing it out on those feature sets. I absolutely love the monitor in just terms of just looking at it. Now, the color scheme of the monitor is very similar to what you had last year with the G9, where the back of the monitor has that, you know, white with blue accents, you know, kind of keeping the Samsung uh, colors, and of course, a matte finish around the front of the monitor. Now, the colors are more customizable this year, and they've got a really cool feature. Now, they will match your gameplay experience, so uh, if you're playing Doom Eternal, seeing all those reds that are just bouncing off screen, or even something like cyber, Cyberpunk with all the different colors, that will match it. And you don't have to do it via software. It uses the HDMI 2.1 connection port. So especially with your gaming consoles, you're gonna be getting some really cool RGB color sequence there as well, which is really cool. Now, what about price? Now, this is gonna retail roughly for around 2,400, uh, and pre-orders will start on the 29th of July, uh, and should be coming out pretty soon. I can't wait to check it out myself, though. I really like the 49 inch. I remember the last one, I had it in the office, and I didn't wanna send it back, but I had to. And uh, so, anyway, guys, let me know what games you want me to play on, there, on this monitor when I get it to test out and review. Uh, leave your thoughts down below. Do you own a previous uh, Samsung Odyssey monitor? Would you like to see some of these features even in the G7? Are you picking one up? I wanna hear it from you guys. Leave it down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.